Welcome to Simple Stocks Evening Futures video. Let's take a quick look at the charts and focus on what may potentially happen in a short term time frame and discuss the levels of interest. Stay tuned. So let's see what's going on. All right. So as far as the ES goes, it goes back. To, it, go, it all comes down to this 4205 level to the 4122 level. Yes, we made progress today. Yes, we broke resistance. Yes, we had a nice harmonic pattern to trade. But this 4205 area looms large. Um, we can get, and, and if you remember from last week, when we were coming up here, we were having the same conversation about 4205 till it failed. Had this harmonic pattern, which completed, and now we did retracement. So 4205 to 4122 is the range. Um, you know, we just got to wait and see what happens here. We could have a trade to the downside. Um, I would expect 416, if we do pull back, I would expect 4165 to be a potential dip buy. Look for a change in character, and then you can see if uh, we have a move to the upside. If I see anything good, I will post it in the futures on the Discord. Um, let's look here at the NQ. If you are following me in the chat today, I had mentioned this level, 14,460. 14,460, similar to the ES, we have a range back down to 14,142. You see the rejection both times. Uh, my note in the room and in the live when I took over was that they would create this liquidity here. They tapped it, which was no good, which was bearish. But uh, we'll see what happens here. This was a bad pattern, which reversed. We were on that, but 14,460 to 14,140, if there's a trade to the outside, it'll occur with a 15-minute candle close. Now, this pullback won't be as strong to this area, 14.347, because this didn't break the high. So keep that in mind, okay? The RTY was a life changer, was a life saver yesterday when we had spotted this deep crab here. I mean, not deep crab, this butterfly pattern right to here. So basically, I'm going to repeat it again. The level, 16.81, and I mentioned 16.65 would be resistance. I happened to take a short here on 1665. I wasn't deterred. It got away from me here at 1670. Uh, they just did a double top here. Uh, so uh, 1681. And when I make a note about a supply area, keep an eye on it. You can short it too. I didn't alert the trade, but I did tell you that this was an area of supply, which would be of interest to me. Obviously, nothing big is going to happen here outside of 1681. You can see an M-type short formation developing here. So we lose 1638, we could go lower. I will note that this 1638 is a very, very important level on the um, on the weekly, uh, big, big range. I had gone over this in chat, the oil potential trade. I think oil is just really consolidating here. A big, big range. Let me remove these drawings. We have a huge range here. Uh, so... There will be an explosive move on oil, but you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to be patient. There is potential downside here, uh, but it's 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 kind of an extended bat pattern here off this B point. So a break above 83.14, we could target 83.98. Um, this break could be part of this pattern here. So we could see a move to the upside above 83.14. Um, if this is a bat pattern here, which I think it is, uh, this would be X, A, this would be A to D right here. So uh, I wonder if, yeah, you see how 83.40, 83.39 would be 38, which are 50% retracement right to 83.87. Wait for a candle close above 83.15. You might have a trade to the upside. I think this slide may stop a little bit here, but... Uh, I'm looking to play the upside breakout of 86.30, to be honest with you. Um, I don't want to get caught inside consolidation. Um, this trade remains the same um, on the uh, on the gold. We still have the same pattern. Nothing has changed here. We have a crab pattern that needs to come up to this <clears throat> area here. So as you can see, we're, um, we're, we're, we're still consolidating here. We're still pulling back a little bit. A break above 2017 should be the final straw that'll get the buyers up to uh, up to 2027, 2021. 
Uh, if we do get a dip into this year, I do have an alert set at 1990. Silver, um, different story, <clears throat> excuse me, different story than the um, than gold. It's running into resistance here at 23.79. There is a bearish pattern, which is weird. Um, there is a bearish pattern here uh, suggesting, no, actually, I'm wrong. There's not a bearish pattern here at 22.78. Uh, so basically, right here, it's kind of uh, it's kind of bull flagging here. This is bullish, but we already got 2377. I think I had mentioned yesterday's video. So I think this will pull back if gold pulls back to that 1990 area and go higher. Uh, it may need one more pullback before we attempt to go after 2388 is a big big area. So we kind of um, we kind of hit res resistance at that 886. If we get a pullback to 2288, I might be interested in taking a look at going long on silver. All right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the Discord room. Thank you. Bye.